And we should be back. Let's look at what the live stream says. And we're back! And we're back. Woo! Is, an ad, uh... is it weird I recorded a light bulb burning out at work? Maybe. That sounds awesome. A, like a crazy neon light. Like it was just, it was just going bananas. Um. All right. So it's just getting. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> all right. Hello to everybody again in the chat. Um, if you hey. are left over in the chat from the last episode, we're going to be doing a spoiler cast of The Walking Dead, as it says on the top of the Twitch page. Uh, not my problem if you get spoiled. So, you have been warned the one and only time. Uh, so, hopefully, if you st if somebody stumbles in later, they will see TVG's Peace Spoiler Cast, The Walking Dead, at the top of the page and figure, oh, we're probably going to be spoiling stuff. Yeah. So, uh, I explained to uh, my two co-hosts here, uh, for anybody that's watching after the fact, um, I produce uh, Spoiler Cast a little bit differently, where I insert audio and insert music. Um, so you're going to see part of the recording process a little bit weird. It's a little bit different than normal episodes. Um, so just hang tight. Things are still going okay. We just do strange pauses. So that stranger said, danger. Yes. It's a red light situation mm -hmm. here. Um, uh, with that being <clears throat> said, gents, are you ready to begin? Yes. Uh, yep. It's right. I'm going to be. All right. Yep. 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 Uh, starts at 24 minutes. All right, let's get started in three, two, one. Welcome back to another spoiler cast. It's been the first one in a long time. This time we are going to be talking about Telltale Games, The Walking Dead Season 1. Uh, uh, if you haven't listened to a spoiler cast before, uh, it has been a while, so it's, it's likely. Uh, we are going to spoil the hell out of The Walking Dead. Uh, so if you have not finished it and you're interested in playing the game or interested in the story whatsoever, need to stop listening because this is the last warning. So we are going to unabashedly talk about this game. We're unabashedly going to talk about some zombies. Yeah, who are. Um, so let's get started with The Walking Dead, Episode One: A New Day. Uh, so. so the beginning of the the story here is pretty much the reason why I fell in love with this game is uh, Lee is in the back of a, a squad car and uh, yep. you are being taken to jail. Yes, yes. you're being yes. you're being transferred you're on your way from to prison. Town. Yeah, you're being transferred from your holding cell from in the city out to on that very scenic highway that you see in the walking dead right the uh, highway. out of out uh, the highway out of town right um i knew i was gonna love this game from this part because it it's nice for a game to start out with just a conversation between two dudes that's really yep. calm and serene and the game educates you really early on about here's how to make choices and here's you can make the three dot choice if you really want and mm -hmm. the character you're talking to doesn't like it so yeah. you should probably say something and all of your choices have an effect and it was interesting because everybody knows the walking dead is a zombie story so i was sort of surprised i was sort of looking at where are you going to run into a zombie and it's sort of nice that you literally <laughs> run into yes, a zombie. Yes, run into a zombie. <laughs> I was yeah, that the, was pretty awesome. At the same time, the character, you get the like split-second choice of saying something. I'm just sort of like, oh, it's in the... Oh, okay, ran into that oh, one. Yeah. That, was, that was great. <laughs> um, and probably one of the best rolling down the hill inside the cab shots with them just flopping around the car yeah. going down that hill. Yeah, just one that looks Very like realistic. it really hurt. Yeah. Um, and one of, so as, as soon as you, you land, it, it's, it's pretty much all zombies all the time after that, but there's one yeah. scene I really like because Telltale messes with you and the character because you know that, that, that police officer is now a zombie because it's mm -hmm. a zombie story, oh, yeah. but Lee himself doesn't know it. I really mm -hmm. like that they play with your perceptions where, you have to go pick those, I think it's keys up, 
and it's like yeah. right next to his head and it zooms yep. in yep. like he's real slowly and he's he's just like oh, i gotta get and like you pull your hand re away really quickly um i don't know why i like that scene so much but well i liked it because you knew as the player what was going to happen but mm -hmm. lee didn't have oh, a yeah. clue yeah yeah and the and the sheer level of panic they induced in that area not not because you're just so you're just so new to the combat system and the play the play style that right. you feel like you're just as panic as lee are trying to figure out what to do yeah you're like oh god where's the shotgun yeah. do i have how can i fight him now he ate me oh no yeah wait oh now i get <laughs> yeah that helps <laughs> yeah now i can't put the shells in so i have to pick them back up and you're just like oh my god oh my god we come back up. um that whole yeah. scene is great um, and I feel like it it's a really great way of introducing the zombies where you're just fighting a zombie one-on-one -on -one and you're fairly injured. Um, so it's not yep. like you're walking through them, just, you know, like lighting zombies up. That was pretty intense. It, yeah. For like a one-on-one, -on -one, you're injured and the zombies injured sort of thing. It was pretty, it was pretty great. Um, yeah. but from right, right after that, you, you stumble upon Clementine's house and, um, it's a really interesting I thought it was a really interesting scene listening to the um, answering machine message where oh, stuff falls brutal. apart across three messages yeah yeah I thought that was really powerful of nobody really knows what's going on and nobody really knows what happens but they all know it's it's gone to crap pr pretty quick mm -hmm. yeah um, and then of course you meet Clementine who's one of the best characters in the game one of the most down. adorable yeah. little girls like yeah. she's just uh, it couldn't look any more innocent right and yeah. great great voice acting um from the the woman who voice acted her and it it sounds genuine it doesn't sound like a 40 year old woman being like i'm 10. i, <laughs> I think the voice yeah. acting carried it really well but yeah. i think the way the game was designed and the way the characters look it yep. emoted so well made her voice performance that much more powerful yeah because it yes it, it was great that it wasn't like blank stares ahead all the time it was sort of her like looking down and being a little sheepish and sort of not not being sure about what she was saying or what was going on but when she was sure it really meant something because uh like at the end of episode two with the car where she's looking at lee and saying no we can't do this and she's looking right at you and saying oh, that like yeah. it's, uh. it, it makes it more powerful <laughs> so um but this is one of the first big choices in the game and and one that i don't I'm surprised the number spread here is when you first meet Clem, do you want to look for help immediately or wait until night? Um, and uh, I picked immediately. Yeah, oh, I did too. Because yeah. if you wait for night, you don't you don't know what a zombie story is. And I'm surprised 78% of people uh, did it immediately. 22% waited until night, which is crazy. Staggering. I, yeah. I wonder how many people did that just to see what the difference would be. Oh, right. Like they're playing through a second time yes. or something? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's... That's... Because it's really... I mean, I, for me, playing this game as a one-off, I think it's the only way to experience it. Because you developed your story. Mm -hmm. And it didn't really yeah. give you a reason to go replay and see what would be different. I felt completely satisfied with everything I did in that game. I would almost want to watch yeah. somebody... Like my girlfriend is talking about playing it. I would want to watch her play it to see how her story would unfold, you know, as opposed to like, the choices that I made. I'd really love to see my fiance sit down and play it because she's not a gamer. Mm -hmm. uh, she plays, you know, the casual stuff. She'll, you know, throw down on a platformer with me, but she's right. really not big on games. But I think this is something she'd really enjoy because it's got that tension and it's got that story to it. Mm -hmm. And just to see the choices mm -hmm. that would be made would be yeah. awesome. Um, so the rest of the episode kind of goes by pretty quickly. I, I, I get the feeling. I, I don't know about you, but that slip on the blood was completely unexpected. Yeah, I forgot about I that. Did yeah. not, <laughs> I did not see that coming, especially when you knock yourself borderline stupid. Yeah, I kind of liked that where he's still, he's still injured. Like the game hasn't forgotten that he pretty much broke his leg. Uh, and, and he's still pretty clumsy and he's still not really he doesn't have a good grasp on on what he's trying to do and he's trying to deal with zombies which have not been a thing 
Yeah, ever. <laughs> yeah, ever. Like yeah. zombies, not just, <laughs> not like a bear. You know, it's just it's a zombie. <laughs> um, but after you and uh, Clem decide to strike out, you meet a couple of dudes um, who's who are trying to move their truck, and I I like the question of oh how you know. It, uh, why don't we take your daughter and go somewhere? Everybody assumes that Clem is your daughter. Yeah. And one of the choices yeah. is, I'm just a guy. <laughs> I um, think that's the I think that's the one I picked. Like, uh, yeah, I, I picked that one too. Like I'm just yeah, I, I'm I just made a sure dude, to clarify I, this little girl. I'm just trying to help. Yeah. 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 I made sure to clarify every time that she wasn't. So. Yeah. Um. But then you go to uh, Herschel's farm, which is just. Some farm outside that uh, I don't remember. The, the military's eye zone. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's uh, if I remember correctly, Sean was one of the guys you ran into, and it's he's Herschel's son. So they're going out there because they figured, yeah. you know, a farm is probably a good place to to stay and and get fortified. Um, and one of the one of the next choices is while Herschel's patching you up, he he asks you, you know, do you how did you hurt your leg? And the the choice is, do you lie or tell the truth? Um, and I, of course, told the truth on this one. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah I, I was... Better be up front and not have that come back and bite you in the butt later. Yeah, that's sort of the, the tack I took throughout the whole game. Like, if somebody mm -hmm. asks me, honestly, I might as well tell them the truth. Maybe not the whole truth all the time. Yes. But I'll tell them <laughs> the most I can. Um, uh, I was yeah. point blank the entire way through. Uh, Thirty-eight percent of people uh, lied here, and sixty-two percent uh, told the truth. So, we're we're sticking along with everybody else here. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So the rest of the time on the farm, you're you're pretty much talking to the new characters you meet, whether it's Sean or whether it's Kenny and his family, Kenny, Katja, and Duck. Um, mm -hmm. And I like his explanation of why they call duck duck they said because nothing bothers him just all it's all water off a of duck's back yep. Um, yep although i don't think we're ever told what duck's real name is no i think they mentioned it at some point but i couldn't be sure hmm. uh, it wasn't memorable if it was anything yeah that's true. exactly yeah um so the 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 next and of course the hardest decision in this game up until this point. I thought it was going to be the hardest choice in the game. I was wrong. Oh, wow, um, you're wrong. Oh, you was really the, wa wrong. the walker's attack, <laughs> of course. Um, and you get the choice of saving Duck or saving Sean. Um, and little does the player know, you don't really get a choice. Uh, you have to save Duck, yeah. but it's yeah. it's which one do you choose. And um, I, of course, went to go save Duck, because he's a kid. Yeah. I actually I, didn't make a choice. Um, yeah. I was still... Uh, the PC controls were a little wonky, and it didn't make it clear whether I was supposed to like hit like A or D to go like right or left to pick one, right. or if I was actually supposed to click on one of them. By the time I figured out, oh, I have to click on one of them, Kenny rushes past me and goes towards Duck. Right. Uh, so, so I kind of... Yeah. That's interesting, because I didn't know that was actually an option of... You know, yeah. decision paralysis sort of there because um, surprisingly, this split is a lot closer than I would have thought. Forty nine percent chose Duck, forty eight percent chose Sean, and three percent chose neither. I thought it would swing yep. way in the favor of Duck. Ah, it, I was, I see, yeah, I was torn on it because you know, I, yeah, Duck's just a kid, mm -hmm. and this is the thought process I went through. I was like, so Duck's just a kid. But this is a full-grown man that could be useful. Yeah, who seems to have his stuff together. I, yeah. I, I had saved well, Duck, yeah. one, because he's a kid, but also because it seemed like I had a good meal ticket with Kenny and his family. They had a working truck. You know, they seemed to stick together. They seemed to have a plan. I was like, well, that seems okay. Me and this little girl are going to get out of town. Well, but, I really yeah. thought that if I was going to go over to Duck with the controls of the tractor, I was going to be able to get the tractor off of him. Is yeah, kind of where where my decision ultimately landed. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was going. That was the same thing I was thinking too, because I said, "Well, I'll I'll start with the kid, and then pull him off, then pull the tractor off, and then we'll get Sean." But nope, no, you not won't. in the Walking Dead, man. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Um. 
So the 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 after that, you unsurprisingly get kicked off of Herschel's farm uh, for letting yeah. his son die, um, yeah. and you run out of gas in uh, Macon, and uh, you run into um, the drugstore after you get uh, attacked by a bunch of walkers, and it looks like Duck might have gotten bitten. Um, and this turns into another reason why I really love The Walking Dead is this first great argument scene where it's just yeah. four people yelling at once and you're trying to read the screen and you're trying to figure out what's going on and you're trying to you're trying to figure out who's saying what and what side you're trying to be on and everybody's mad at you and it it's fantastic and, and you don't and even that, know who these people are yeah right. exactly you're in the middle of a count, you're in the middle of an argument you don't know anybody's names at this point or who to align yourself with and then that decision bar is just going down yeah and, yeah. and larry's saying well we need to throw that kid outside and kill him and Kenny's saying, that's my son. He didn't get bit. And Katya is cleaning him off quickly, trying to say, no, he he didn't get bitten. He didn't get bitten. He's okay. He's okay. Um, yeah. And I on this one, I sided with Kenny. Same I did here. too. Uh, that's surprising because um, uh, Super Hungry in chat says he, he sided with Kenny too. Uh, only 43% sided with Kenny. 57% oh. sided with Larry, which is surprising because... <laughs> At the very least, you've known Kenny for longer. Yeah. At this point. Yeah. And I, I mean, it's his son, and this, this d bag, Larry, who mm -hmm. is is upset for probably a good reason, um, as Clementine will find out very shortly. Um, that he wants to save the group, even though it's a yeah. kid. He yeah. he wants he him and his daughter to continue to survive. Um, but he's just a real big jerk. <laughs> yeah, he. Re I, I think uh, out of all the characters that I hated, not like disliked his characters, but like as as myself playing Lee yeah. hated, mm -hmm. Larry was the biggest. Yeah. Well, Larry was your biggest challenger through that first part of the game. Yeah, because like, everybody he was. Everyone else would seem to be backing down and following your lead, and he was the only one that challenged any decision you made. Right, yeah. which was interesting. It, it eventually comes later that he knows exactly who you are, yeah. and he mm -hmm. hates you. Because it, it comes mm -hmm. in, I think, I think around this part uh, in the story, because uh, you, you sort of get your first big point where you're, you have to get back into the, um, the pharmacy so you can get pills for Larry. Yeah. And you, you can walk around, you can talk to everybody. And of, of course, I talked to everybody every chance I got. Same here. <laughs> um, and I, I, I think it was this point where both Carly, because you meet up with Larry and his daughter. Lily. Uh, yeah, Lily. And you meet up with Carly and Doug. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it was Carly who knew exactly who you were. Yeah, yep. and challenges you, and she's like, "Hey, maybe you shouldn't tell anyone because you're kind of a murderer." Um, and yeah. I don't think the player at this point really knew that, and he's sort of like, "Yeah, yeah. I killed a dude," and it's just like, "What?" But Lee, you're so nice. Yeah, <laughs> that was well, yeah, because you've that. that was a the genius thing with Lee is you just automatically just you yeah, I don't know what it was whether it was his character design his voice, or just. Or yeah, or the voice you just bonded with that guy immediately. And I think yeah. a big part of it was his relationship with Clem. Like, yes, it gives you every chance to take care of her. Like one of the first things you can do when you're wandering around the the drugstore is um, grab a candy bar and give it to her. And the, yeah. the game says you took care of Clementine. It's like hell yeah, yeah I did. What's, what's <laughs> yeah. she gonna do? It's a nice little reward for you know doing the little extra stuff in that game. Yeah, which was always always nice, and it was sort of, it was really well written that yeah. you find out that he was on his way to prison for for killing a dude, which I think was not terribly explicit at the beginning. But I think mm -hmm. you know the yeah. guy was saying, "Did you do it?" and without yeah. saying, you know, "Hey, did you kill that con congressman or, or senator or whatever?" Yeah, yeah. So I, I kind of liked this whole area of figuring out the puzzle to go to the back of the um, 
the drugstore and get get pills for Larry, even though he's a bit of a bastard. You don't want to see him die because you didn't do it. Uh, I kind of did, but you know, <laughs> I was. Kinda, I just wanted I was to stop like, Can I progress? Yeah, yeah, I was. I was hoping that by getting him the pills, he would warm up to me. Uh, yeah, I was wrong, but yeah, I was hoping it would at least sort of bridge that gap. So this whole scene, this whole series was kind of really interesting, standard point-and-click adventure game stuff where it's i need to get this to open that to do this to distract the zombies to get over there and oh that's my brother oh crap he's a zombie now um so not all of that is i I don't want to make this like another three-hour episode so all of that stuff is interesting and okay and you're you're connecting with all these guys and doug is a weird guy i don't know were you guys like overly vague about not knowing what drugstore you were in. What do you mean? Because there were a couple of times, like, well, you come across pictures and someone asks you, like, well, did you know these people? And you're like, you have the option to say, well, yeah, it's my family, or yeah, I know them acquaintance-wise, or no, I've never been here before. I think I had put two and two together when we had landed in Macon, and Mm -hmm. I think during one of my choices in on the herschel's farm i think i was able to say yeah they they owned a drugstore in macon so i i think i had put two and two together at that Uh, point i might have done that i did totally went over my head yeah and i think i had chosen i i think i had taken the opportunity to either lie with a really good sympathetic story or tell them the truth and say yeah I, i knew the owners you know, I or, think that's what I picked. I was like, I didn't, yeah. not, didn't say they were my family, but I knew knew the the people. Yeah, I knew the people. They were good people, you know. And then, yeah. like, I told Clem the truth because you know we. Yeah. There was that great scene with, um, uh, them looking at it, uh, his father's cane and saying like he's whooping shoplifters and you know he's he's a good yeah. guard dog. Like that's a really good scene. Um, so yeah. you you tell Clem the truth and you tell Carly the truth because she. She comes forward and you know she was my favorite favorite yeah. character. Carly's great. I, I love I thought, Carly. I thought she was great and and totally capable and kind of a, a spitfire in a good way. Um, Absolutely. But oh course, yeah, and we run across Glenn too. Run across yeah. Glenn. Oh yeah, yeah. He's from what the TV show? He's from the TV show. Yeah. Um, is he the Asian guy? Yeah, he's yeah. the one that goes off and tries to find gasoline. Right. Yep. And then we run into a really. I love the problem solving in this area, where you yeah. had to go work your way and systematically execute all these zombies at the motor park. I thought that was a really interesting puzzle, and I really liked the red ring around the screen, where it's like, oh god, oh god, they're seeing, me. oh god, oh, I can duck back. Down. Oh yeah, I panicked every yeah. time it started coming up. And I yeah. really, <laughs> I really liked that it was. It was kind of nice to break the, to break the not monotony of the game, but it was something. That wasn't outright actiony, but was also kind of puzzly. You know, you don't yeah. you don't get that a lot in in some of these games. Um, yeah. But it, that was a really interesting scene because I thought you were going to take on that other person as part of your group, and then for her to say, "I really wanted you to leave me alone because I'm totally bitten." Yeah, uh, yeah. And then your choice is, well, do you give her your gun? Or do you just leave her to turn into a zombie? Um, and I totally gave her my gun. Yeah. Yep. Same here. Uh, that is um, surprising because 45% chose gun and 55% chose refuse. Can't uh, have one more zombie out there, man. Well, I, can't. I figured I'd, <laughs> I would give her mercy. I don't want to yes. see... Like, if you have the option of somebody not turning into a walker because of your choice... I'll, I'll give those people that choice. And then there was a yeah. great scene that was like a gut punch where they're like, well, one of us has to stay here because we have to get our only gun back. Yeah. And I was, was just like, brutal. oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> That's rough. Wait. <laughs> I don't think I gave her my gun. Oh, really? Monster. <laughs> yeah. All th- I, think we, I think we just said leave her. Then all of a sudden she came crashing through the door. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Did she like take the gun away from you and shoot herself, or did she turn? I th- I think she turned. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Our paths diverge. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure she turned. I remember it was a panic to put her down. 
like after oh. she had turned. Yeah, I didn't yeah. have that when I gave her the gun because she just she just said thank you and blew her brains out. Yeah, I could see the logic in not giving it to her though because you don't know for sure she's bit. She could just take your gun and kill you. And shoot you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> like, exactly. That's a risk. Yeah. Um. So it, it pretty much as soon as you go back to um the drugstore, um. I don't remember what kicks it off, but the uh, you get overrun by zombies. Well, it was you getting the keys and dr going the zombies. Uh, it was I think it was just coming back. Oh right, like you led them back to the yeah yeah, yeah. Um, which is going to be a theme throughout the whole game. Um, sure. That yeah, you lead them back and the ch they give you the choice that. I thought was the most obvious choice in the game, but I'm surprised at the split on this one. It's save yeah. Doug or save Carly, and I absolutely saved Carly. I absolutely. saved Carly, I think, twice about it, even though I kind of yeah. like sneaking around that little area with Doug out front. Yeah. I thought that was a good bonding moment between those two characters. Yeah. Yeah. I thought if I got Carly the gun, she'd cap everybody and we'd save him. Yeah. What, what did yeah. you do, Hannah? Uh, I saved Carly because my thought process on that was like, yeah, he's great with electronics and, you know, whatever, but she is, you know, she's eye. a journalist and mm -hmm. she can shoot. She's far more useful than Doug. Yeah. And frankly, mm, I'm sorry, Doug, she's female. <laughs> but, yeah, but, but Carly's reaction was so good. Like, after yeah. she capped the zombies and she's like, oh, God, like, totally yeah. panicked. Yeah, like like she, it wasn't even like thank you. She was just like, God, what have we done? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's uh, that's a, a consistent theme throughout this game is like the other characters' reactions, not only to your decisions, but to just the the happenings of the game are really good. Yeah. But even that, the funny thing, what the the game was written so well is that it seemed like that decision haunted Carly. Yeah. The, yeah. the rest of the time you were with her. Because she, it sounded yep. like they, they dropped a couple of subtle and a couple of not so subtle hints that Carly had started falling in love with Doug. And she had wanted to tell him as you guys are like barring the door. And she just yeah. never got the time. Yeah. Uh, and surprisingly, 75% of people save Carly, but 25% save Doug. Um, I'm surprised mm. it's that high. Right, me too. Yeah, I wonder how that would have played out without her. Uh, I'd like to see that. I'm sure I've there's seen a YouTube a, video. I've seen a little bit um, in the the YouTube walk. Uh, somebody had done a long play that I was watching recently to refresh. Um, yeah, it plays out fairly similarly, um, except Doug feels very guilty that you had picked him over Carly because he thought Carly was way more useful. Yeah, even yeah. even he could have admitted. <laughs> so I thought at least he's prescient enough to realize that. Yeah. Um, so at the end of that, you everybody makes their way to the motor inn, um, and there's this great scene that finishes up episode one where they say, you know, we have food, we have water, we got power. I think we're gonna be okay. And then all the, the power lights. shuts down. Yeah. And then just yeah. like, boom, you know, end of episode one. Walking Dead. Yeah, and it's just like, all right, I'm in it for the whole time. Because you, yeah. you, this game is great at this point. I'm intrigued. Yeah, I'm. I got gotcha. you. Um, so uh, that's the end of episode one. We're gonna take All a right. quick pause here, real quick. Uh, so let's talk about episode two, starved for help. We're gonna take another quick pause here. Uh, all right, the beginning of it is <laughs> is a really great and a really tough scene of yeah. you and that other guy. I can't remember his name. I, I see his picture on my thing and I don't know his name. Is it Ben, I want to say? No, no we don't, Ben's don't run the into Ben. It's the guy you're hunting with. Mark. Thank uh, you, sir. Yes. There Mark, it is. so you and Mark are, are hunting <laughs> in the woods and you, you run across a rabbit. Um, and everybody says, yeah, we're really hungry because Mark had all the food and thankfully he joined our little gang, but we've been going through it a little too fast and everybody's yeah. arguing about whether or not they're going to eat. We should leave the motor in and hop in the yeah. RV and leave. Um, and God, there's just a mother of a scene here after that, where you run across a couple of band kids and their band leader. Uh, mm -hmm. And you get the choice of 
David, the band leader, has been caught in uh, a bear trap, and it doesn't have a release. Um, yeah. That should be your first notification that uh, things are wrong. Um, yep. And <clears throat> you have the choice of do you try and free him, or do you chop his leg off? Uh, um, I chopped his leg off. Chopped his leg off. I initially tried to free him, and when that went south, yeah, I chopped his leg off. I tried, like, one more time to free him, and after that, I chopped his leg off. Reading, so, for anybody that has, I, I should have mentioned this earlier, for anybody that has played The Walking Dead and they're interested in the design behind the game, you need to head to Giant Bomb and read their no, no uh, Faces of Death uh, series. Mm -hmm. And it is, Patrick Klepek talks to the developers at Telltale, and you get their feedback and their uh, how they felt they made the game. Um, and <clears throat> they regretted putting the reticle right on his leg. Because your first thing <laughs> is, well, yeah, I'm going to chop his leg. Because it's totally a viable option to yeah. leave him there. And you can just take yeah. Ben and the other kid whose name I don't know. Um, but I didn't even know that was a choice. Yeah, you can just leave. You can try it until the point until you get to the point where the zombies are on top of you and you, you yeah. can't free him and you can't chop his leg off. You just have to go and he gets eaten by zombies. Yeah. Um, then you're stuck with the other band kid, right? Yeah, I think you're at that point you're stuck with both band kids, but I think the second mm -hmm. band kid gets eaten or something. Um, so you bring Ben and uh, David back to the camp and Katja tries to save David, but eventually he dies just... You, you chopped off his leg, so he runs out, bleeds out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the nymph says in chat that choice was effed up. Yeah, yeah, all the way. <laughs> um, but what's really interesting is they they shed light on at this point, and Ben shares with you because after David dies, he comes back to life, and uh, as a, as a zombie, he comes back to un unlife, undeath. Um, yep. and Ben shares with you that. You turn into a zombie even if you haven't been bitten. Just if you yeah. die. Yeah, I, I honestly, I have not like watched The Walking Dead. I have not read The Walking Dead. When he said that, I was like, you, no, you're full of it. There's no way. Yeah. That's not how zombies work. Like yeah. me as a player. But like, I see. No, I, I, see <laughs> I was familiar with the source material and the show, and that becomes uh -huh. apparently clear at the end of episode, or season one of The Walking Dead. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you die. It's just that you're dead. infected. Yeah, and what's wow. what's interesting is the the two guys that that wrote the uh, Walking Dead and and sort of supervise all the Walking Dead said at no point will we ever explain how the infection started, and that's oh, one wow. of the best parts of the Walking Dead is yeah. nobody in this world has any idea how this thing started, and hmm. that's great because you're like because you as a player are so surprised too where you're like. But we were looking for people that were bitten, and now this, like, God, that changes everything, especially things that happen at the end of this episode. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that happens here where um, the two brothers uh, from the dairy stumble upon mm -hmm. your, your little camp there, um, and they say, hey, we just need fuel to keep our generators running. Uh, if you give us some fuel, we can give you food. We, we have plenty of yeah. food. We, we have two a of the most likable hicks I've ever seen. Absolutely. Oh, just really, really genuinely nice guys, and they're looking to help you. So, uh, I think it's at the beginning. You and Mark um, run run over to the farm, or at least you, Mark and Carly. Um, yes, I yeah. believe that's the collection. Yeah, I think it's the three of right. them. Everybody else stays behind in case things go poorly. Um, mm -hmm. And you go there, and yeah, they've got an electric fence. They got all sorts yep. of generators. They have a cow. They're giving you yeah. bread. Like their mom is with, awesome with, re with real <laughs> butter. Yeah, with real yeah. butter. Um, and the mom is like, "Hey, man, bring everybody over. We're just we're gonna cook a, a big old meal." And uh, they say, you know, while you're here. Uh, if you could go clear the fence of walkers, sometimes they get stuck in there. Yeah. Um, so that's that's where things go south. <laughs> because yeah. not only yeah. do you get trapped on the other side of the fence. Did, uh, did you fix Did you fix the swing? 
Uh, they fixed the swing. Oh, I thought I was going to have I time fixed. to come back and fix it. Yeah, I, I did. See, I I the first thing stuck. I did, first thing I did was I, I ran, looked at everything before I had to go commit to going to look to clear the fence of walkers. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah. oh, hey, I found some wood. I got a saw. I'm going to fix the swing. Nice. I found some rope. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then everyone's like, oh, man, that was really nice. Yeah, I'm really, you know, I remember playing on that when I was a kid. I was like, yeah, high five. I was and so happy with myself. No, for me, they fixed it once the kids came to the the farm yeah. and they were like hey now that you got kids coming we fixed up the uh the swing for you so that was cool. that's interesting yeah I, yeah I fixed the swing and everyone seemed grateful for it and then it always got pointed out that i fixed the swing oh nice mm -hmm. hmm. and i wish i would have done that now yeah me too <laughs> um so there's this really interesting scene as soon as the the fence gets turned on while you're outside i knew something was up at yeah. that point I knew something was up. I couldn't tell you what, though. Yeah, I just thought they were maybe, like, trying to take my fuel and kill me. Um, it's much worse than see, that, but... <laughs> yeah, see, I, I thought initially, like, okay, you know, they had an emergency. They had to kick that fence on because, you know, that fence spanned the entire farm. Or yeah, it's huge. And they probably saw something coming and had to flip it on. Right. That was my... I didn't jump to any sort of, you know, sadistic conclusion, which... Maybe yeah, I, have, but, you I know. did. Do you know, all right. So knowing what happened now, looking back, I kind of think they were they set them up to get on the outside of the fence so they could kill them for what they were planning to do later. I think they were trying to get the bandits to kill them. Yeah. That's what I think. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then the bandits would get, quote unquote, the food. Yes. Um, because yeah. as soon as we came back, they're like, "Oh, we thought we heard something, and we thought you were all done, so we turned it on." And it's just like, mm. but the the big yeah. thing that happens here is Mark gets shot by the bandits. He has a a, a crossbow wound. bolt through his shoulder. Um, yeah. And the moment, the moment that I knew that something was up, um, was when the mom takes him inside and she's like i'm gonna patch him up and there's something about her face and something about her eyes and the way they yeah. animated her where i'm like oh my god they're cannibals like i don't I, yeah. you know what that That's didn't kind cross of my I mind it out too. that didn't cross my mind until way later it, it and i feel my, so gullible for it it crossed my mind <laughs> there where i'm like something is up are they gonna eat him because like she's talking about making a big old dinner and I'm just like, well, maybe not. But as the episode kept going on and she's like, no, you don't need to see him. He's fine. He's sleeping. I'm like, oh, my see, God, they're eating him. Yeah, that's when totally I got crazy. suspicious when I couldn't go back to see him later. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's when it started really clicked that, for me. That's when it started. The real started turning in my head. I was like, mm -hmm. something's a little off here. These people are way too nice. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think the other thing that really kicks it in, too, is um after the rest of people come to the the dairy um one of the brothers i don't remember their names the one with the the slicked over hair um danny danny yeah, yeah. he says hey we need to go get revenge on these these bandits we used to give them food and they used to protect us but this isn't cool they're attacking us um so we need to go to their camp and figure out what's going on and we need to tell them to stop <laughs> Oh, um, Samson. Jeez. Whoa, Samson, jeez. Um, <laughs> so you and Danny take your guns and you go out to this bandit camp and you're searching around, but after a little bit of time, you find Jolene. Uh, well, no, one? actually, I you don't find Jolene until after you find Clementine's hat. That was the, yeah, that yeah. was the weird part where you're like, yeah, where's that was her creepy. hat? That's Why is it here? here? What's going on? Why is there a little... Like, what's really weird is there's a little sleeping bag for a kid, and her hat is in it. And I'm just like, how, what's happening? I don't understand any of this. Um, yeah. And Jolene, it, the, your next big choice is, do you shoot Jolene or not? And I did not shoot Jolene at all. Really? Either. No, because her. she no. was talking crazy stuff, but she started talking crazy stuff about Danny. And she yeah. started saying stuff about you don't know what they do and you don't know what they do to people like you. And I'm just like, pardon, say that again. What's going on? <laughs> Campbell, what? And at that <laughs> point she shoot, he shoots her. Yeah. And he's like, well, she was just talking crazy. And I was like, was she at all? I, don't, really? see, I, I thought, I thought she was a threat to Clementine and I shot her immediately. No, I let her talk. And she, yeah. at that point I was like, nope, they're cannibals. 
at that point I knew for sure because she was talking about yeah. you don't know what they do to people like you. God, yeah, that was, so good. that was the watershed moment of I gotta get off this dairy. Yeah. And um thirteen percent of people shot her and eighty seven percent waited. <laughs> so Nobs is in the minority the category minority here. There. Um so when you get back to, to the farm, things go wrong real quickly because you find that uh that door in the back of the barn um and i start putting pieces together like if they're making dinner what are they making it from because they only have one cow left yeah you know? and the cow's sick and the cow is sick and pregnant so things are a little bit weird and then you run across that door in the back of yeah and it one of the funniest uh conversations between Kenny and Lee where Kenny's like you know how to pick a lock right <laughs> and Lee's like no no why would I that and he's like well you you're you know urban yeah, urban, yeah. <laughs> I was like oh Kenny's he's racist. like I know you're not saying what you're trying to say <laughs> yeah um but yeah eventually you you distract the other brother oh god Andy Andy yeah by sure. dismantling the generator yeah and then you yeah. pick apart that lock and it is a I kill room back there I really wish there had been a different way to distract Andy. Yeah. I really wish there would have been like a, uh, let's, you know, I'll take a chunk out of the house. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, something. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, let's kill our defenses. But yeah, you find that kill room. And as soon as you open the door, he's right behind you. Like, what are you looking at? What do you got going on? You curious? And I was just like, oh, yeah. they're all in on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's like, Ugh, man, I was just so like, holy crap! And super hungry brings up a good point in chat that he wishes you could have burnt the swing as a distraction. Yeah, that would, oh, that would have been too. Nice. Um, so at this point, it's all sort of like, um, this is getting really weird. So I think at that point, the mom calls you into the house and says that dinner's ready. Yeah, um, and I think one of my favorite things about this episode is this day in this episode, because it all takes over one day, Yeah, and it starts out real nice and real sunny, and by the time you get to uh, this point where we're talking about right now, it's kind of windy and kind of dark it's out. It's getting darker, it's getting like, yeah. it seems like it's going to start raining. Um, yeah. And, and but you, even, even that, like, you've had to make some awful decisions at the motorcade, like, who do you feed, who do you don't? Oh, I forgot but, about that choice. Yeah, we're like, at the beginning... Um, I didn't have any food left. And so I like fed both of the kids mm -hmm. and I yep. think Lily was on watch on lookout. So I fed her and I think I fed Larry cause I was I, hoping yeah. it would improve relations, which of course it didn't. Yeah, of course it didn't because Did Larry you give sucks. the ax to Larry or Mark? <laughs> I gave it to Mark cause I don't yep. trust Larry. I gave it no to Larry figure and I fed him that he would save me. Oh, and nice. He, and both of them missed because I had to play that, uh, that chapter twice because I deleted my save. Right. Mm -hmm. That awful save system on a 360. Yeah. 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 Both of them. Both of them miss either way. Um, but by the, when you get into the house here at the end, uh, you send everybody else into the the dining room and you sneak off upstairs to wash your hands. <laughs> to wash your hands. Wash Ostensibly your hands. to wash your hands, and you find <laughs> what is one of my three scenes in this game that I was horrified at and you yeah. find a hidden door behind a bookcase and Mark is in there with his legs chopped off. Yeah. And he's at the thigh. The only thing he says is don't eat the meat. And it's just like, oh, oh, oh God. And Lee's first first reaction is, oh God, Clementine. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And the screen just says, don't let Clementine eat the meat. And this is one of the choices where you can fail to get down there fast enough and not say the right thing. And Clem yeah. will eat human meat. Oh, yep. really? And I, yeah. I managed to get oh. down there just in time to save her from eating the meat. Because there's two really important choices here. One is, um, did you stop her from eating the meat? And 65% of people did and 35% didn't. Ooh. And the other choice is, when Larry starts mouthing off to you, you can say, eat up, Larry. Enjoy your meal. And <laughs> you will forcefully have Larry eat human meat. Wow. Yeah. Things get Did not real. know that would happen. <laughs> yeah. You can you uh. can you can make it where he will he will chew down on some some mark some mark some mark steaks. And I love the <laughs> I love the way that um Lee 
explains to everybody what happened. He's like, we're on a dairy. We're not on a ranch. Where do you think this food came from? And everybody's like, oh, my God. Oh, but I think I just blurred out. It's Mark. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't think I went that. To, I don't think I went that that aggressive. But I'm just sort of like, I'm. Oh, just I, like, I was hoping for a vomit reel at that point. Yeah, yeah. I, I I had it blurred out. You know, oh, you know, Mark's upstairs legless. So yeah. you know, where did this meat come from, yeah, guys? Mark ain't got come no on, legs. together. Yeah. Um, and this 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 whole thing goes pear shaped because they. They kidnap you and they hold Katya and Duck ransom. And yeah. then they throw you into the meat locker and you have to escape. But Larry starts having a heart problem. And this was one of two points in the game where I was just like, oh, where you can decide whether or not to kill Larry because if he dies, he turns or you try mm -hmm. and revive him. Yeah, and I yeah. tried to revive him. Yeah, because I, I was not I having any lilies. That, mm -hmm. that, decision bar went out and then next thing comes in is a giant salt lick in his face i was like yeah what so what happens yeah, if that you, happens no matter what i, I get, paused the game i was like whoa so <laughs> i made the choice of trying to revive him because i felt badly because lily yeah. and i had had a conversation earlier in the game where she's like i know he's i know he's a jerk but he's my dad he's the only one i've got left and i'm the only one he has left like yeah, he's a jerk, but he just wants us to survive. And I felt yeah. I I felt badly letting this guy die if there's something I could have tried. And seeing Lee pumping away at this guy's chest and over his shoulder this this salt lick smashes this guy's face. And all that's yeah. left is his tongue and his lower jaw. Yeah. Like as soon yeah. as that came down, I exclaimed out. I was just like, Oh what? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Like that's when, the, and the other one I did was in episode three, which everybody knows what we're talking about. But like, that's where I knew this game was never going to pull any punches, and Kenny yeah. made that choice, knowing in his mind that it was the right choice. But I'm just like, man, what the you really hell? Wish you wouldn't have done that, dude. This was, God. I mean, that caught me so off because I was caught up in the panic of the madness that was going on between yeah. that and what's Clementine looking at this 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 stuff going on. What do I yeah. do? And then boom, I was like, I same thing you were. It was like that commercial with LeBron James. It's like, oh, like yeah. you just cringe, just out of yeah. left field, over your shoulder, like because there's this shot. If you look at it again, there's if you watch the whole scene again, there's a shot where. Kenny goes and he looks over his shoulder to the salt licks. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, mm -hmm. Kenny, don't do it. And don't. I Kenny. didn't even put the pieces <laughs> together at the time because I was so worried about getting Larry, reviving Larry so he doesn't turn infected. And then yeah. for that to get smashed, I'm just like, and everybody is covered with gore, like up to their yeah. face. And it's just well, and like, everyone has that look like, oh, oh. Everybody has that look just, of like, what the heck? What, what just, like... And to see Lily covered in her father's gore all the way, like, up into her mouth. I was just like... Yeah. Bleh. Yeah. Oh, God. It's horrible. Oh. Um, what's the next? Oh, so you escape, and then you start... Um, you face up... You face Danny. Um, yeah. And your choice is... This is the only choice I reloaded on this game, and I do not feel badly about this choice is do you kill danny or do you spare him uh and on my first my first choice i killed him outright right away yeah i actually saved him first because i was prescient of clementine's uh i was aware of clementine's presence i i um, wasn't and if yeah knobs what did you choose oh, i totally killed him with the pitchfork <laughs> i did too and the when the the way the camera pans to show you clementine right behind you and she's just like well, why and i'm like nope i gotta reload this nope that's not this is no, messed up i i totally did it and i rolled with it yeah because, yeah because at that point i was so caught up and it's like dude these dudes just killed like one of the few people i liked in the game yeah and killed him in a horrific way and tried yeah. to feed him to us <clears throat> is horrible um but then the next choice is when you're fighting andy so it was split split 55 45 55 mm -hmm. spared him on that one um yeah the really shocking one is whether or not you kill andy or leave him for the zombies and i spared him yeah i left him for the zombies yeah yeah i figured he here. deserved to get eaten uh yeah. 
only 20% killed him and wow. 80% spared him, which I think is, I think everybody at that point is like, yeah, you know what? You did this. You're going to pay the consequences. And that's yeah. getting chomped on by zombies. Um, and then at the end, since we're, we're starting to run long here, cause this game is good. Uh, the very yeah. last choice and the turning choice of the game, no matter what you choose is you run across a station wagon with stuff in it. Do you take it or not? And I did not take the stuff. I didn't take anything. I took all of that stuff. I couldn't in the face oh. of Clem. Cause she's when Clem looked at me and said, this isn't our stuff. This is wrong. And I was like, I, I can't argue that. I'm sorry. See, my, I said my no theory before on... that. I said no before that even came up. I was like, no, you guys can't do this. Yeah. Yeah. I my thought process on that whole decision was okay. We've come across this. the The car, I guess, appears to be on. For all we know, it's walkers that got out. And, and yeah. either this is going to be used by someone who isn't us, or it's going to go to waste. Yeah. I. There was no no indication that anyone was coming back for this, given right. the state the car was left in. Right. If if everything had been closed up, had the doors been closed, had everything been locked down, I would have left it. Right. But given the state that the car was in, someone fled from that car, in yeah. my mind. So whoever fled from that car, even if they came back, they would come back to find it stolen anyway. I might as well take it. Yeah. I may as well benefit from this. Yeah. I, I was um, thinking that same thing until Clem said we shouldn't. And I was just like, mm, we probably and it was. It was one of those moments where I had to be like, it's Clem, look, you, you're going to die if we don't take this. So we're taking this. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a matter of survivability. Like I can justify it because killing the brothers was not a matter of survivability at that point. It was a, when, it was a matter of he, revenge. Yes, and that's not okay. But surviving the line blurs, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what's going to happen. Well, Nobs and I are in the minority at 44%, and Hannah, you're in the majority at 56 We're all thieves. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's, uh, w everybody wanders back to the, back to the motor inn again after a disastrous day, and that, that ends out, uh, episode two. Yep, yeah. Out taking a break mm -hmm. uh so let's talk about episode three long road ahead take oh, a break yeah uh so this is uh this is a tough one this is one of the two episodes to make me cry uh yeah. for, for really good reason it starts out with you and kenny um going through macon again and getting what appears to be the last of the supplies in all of macon yeah, um, mm -hmm. and you run across a lady who has been losing her poops and screaming her head off, and you get yeah. the choice: do you shoot her or not? And I, I shot her. I didn't. Oh no! I let her. I let her get eaten for bait. Uh, yeah. I didn't shoot her, and that. Let's be honest; that was the wrong choice. So sixty percent did. Sixty percent shot her, and forty percent didn't. I got almost no time to get anything out of the drugstore. I think I got I everything got, like, out of it. Yeah, I think I got maybe like two candy bars and a couple of packs of aspirin, and they were overrunning that place, and we had to get out. Oh, I I totally looted the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if I remember, so this is the this is the episode where Duck is your Robin, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Starts that was off, awesome. Duck is kind of the worst character up until this point, but mm -hmm. you have you you have to figure out something seems weird. Um, somebody somebody is stealing supplies, and somebody broke a a, a flashlight. So you mm -hmm. and Duck are trying to figure out what happened. If you accept Duck's <clears throat> help, um, of course you do. Uh, of course you do. You cannot. Um, oh yeah, and that would make it a little less bad later. Yeah. Um, so I accepted his help, and you eventually find that somebody is feeding the bandit supplies. So yeah. as soon as you pull them out and you tell Lily, she, Lily is unhinged at this yeah, point. Yeah. And just the worst version of her, herself. Pretty much as soon as you pull out those supplies, the mm -hmm. bandits attack, and you need to leave in the RV. Yeah, um, that was see during that the, those conversations I had with Lily at that point was I found her as her most likable. 
Yeah. Because yeah, she now, was really just thinking about the group. Yeah. And that's why I started siding with her, even in episode two, against Kenny. Because I felt mm -hmm. like she was looking out for the group, even though she was becoming more unhinged. Kenny cared about the RV and his family, which I respected. Yeah. But yeah. I wanted to keep the group together. Yeah. Now, see, one thing uh, you have to make sure to point out in this part is uh, before everything goes down, this is where Lee's past starts to come out. Yeah, because Carly, Everybody. or I'm assuming Doug, says, hey, if if you're going to be with us and and you're looking more and more like the leader, maybe you should tell everybody what happened. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I go to each and every person and I tell them the truth. Mm, yeah, I, did see, I didn't go thing. to everybody. I went to, see, at this point, I was very close with Katja and uh, Kenny. Right. And I went to them. Mm. Uh, since Carly already knew, and at this point, Ben wasn't even really a character. No, and uh, that's he why was I just told, there. That's why I told Ben, because he was really worried about being the lookout. I told him first, yeah. and I laid yeah, it all I out with him, and I was like, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I had a past. It's pretty messed up. And he really appreciated yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really, like, I, I didn't consider Ben a part of the group at that point in my right. mind. He's just like, yeah, he might be on watch, but he's just kind of <laughs> here. I did it a little um, different. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> but uh, I, I went to, you know, I was diplomatic, the di most diplomatic you could be about that. Like, I have a past. I didn't go straight up, yeah, I killed a dude. Um, yeah, I didn't either. That's the choices that you could just be like, uh, yeah, I totally I killed, killed a dude. Him. Yeah. Yeah. But I went to Kenny and Katja, and I think that was it, because at that point, like, Carly knew Kenny and Katja were mm. the two people that I had been leaning on, so yeah. I'm going to go to them. I'm not going to go to Lily, because she's a psychopath. I don't know what she's going to yeah. do with that information. Uh, go ahead, Nobs. Oh, I was going to say, I told everybody about Lily. Really? Uh, wow, that's interesting. What was your thought process behind that? Uh, that she knew already. Oh, Because really? of her dad. Yeah, yeah, Larry, pretty and, in episode yeah. two, tells you... I know who you are, and I know what you've done. And yeah. you need to stay away from my daughter. Yeah. yeah. And I think there's a conversation in episode two where she said, yeah, he knows you, and he doesn't like you, but I don't know why. Um, that's why I told everybody. I even told Clem. I told her, I was like, yeah. look, when we, went, when we met, I was going to prison for... Yeah, like, that was the other person I told, I believe. I told uh, Clementine as well. Yeah, and I, I there was some sort of conversation about... Um, you know, why did it happen? And I told I told Clem the truth. I was like, I did a bad thing, and I, yeah. I hurt somebody, um, mm -hmm. and I shouldn't have. Um, so it was really interesting telling it. And I told Lily, too, which actually brought us closer together. Because mm -hmm. um, you told her the truth, and you, you were honest with her. Um, and yeah. it was sort of interesting that Carly, you and Carly sort of looked like you were going to start having a romantic relationship. Because she was sort of vibing you. Yeah. Well, yeah, because yeah. you were completely open and honest, didn't hide anything, and she respected you for that. Right. Yeah. Um. So you escape on the RV, and you, because, so everybody finds out that the bandits attacked because, um, they were leaving supplies. So somebody in the group was stealing supplies, and Duck got bit. Because when the bandits attacked, so did walkers. Right. And mm -hmm. Duck got bitten yeah. during that point. But nobody else knows it except for you when Kenny pulls you into the front of the RV and he's like, look, yeah. you got bit. You can't tell anybody. We're going to figure this out. You really can't tell anybody. So yeah. what I think is the most fascinating and the one of the best scenes in this game is the roadside argument. Where... Oh, yeah. Lily Oof. is on the witch hunt trying to figure out is it Ben or is it Carly and both of them are saying no I didn't do it why would I do it and out of nowhere she shoots Carly in the face oh yeah, yeah. I, I lost it <laughs> if, if you haven't seen that scene since the very first time you need to watch it again just go to YouTube and watch it because Carly talks to somebody else and turns around and just blat no right in anymore. her face yeah, yeah. And it just, just it was so unexpected. That was the second yeah. thing because it was escalating, but I thought I was calming it down. But yeah, <laughs> that I was sitting in the living room and I was just like, that happened. That was another scene where I was just like, what the hell? Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. And you get the choice 
do you leave her on the side of the road or do you bring her? And I totally brought her because she's going to pay. I left oh. her. No, I, left I, left her, her. On, I left her on the side of the road. Nope. I took her because I said, you know what? You you did something wrong. We're going to make you pay. You're first going to answer to what you did. And then second, you're going to pay. No. Um, if she's going to be that unhinged with a gun, I don't want her in a small metal box with me. You can You can fry. Wow, boy, I bet our stories took a really... Ooh, <laughs> I'm going to be did. very interested. So I could, I, It's like, you're, you're done. You're here. I'm out. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. I took her and I handcuffed her in the RV, and we... She's there when we go to... Um, we run into the train. Um, oh, which, wow. which is a great scene, um, because you run into that homeless guy at that point. You have this yeah, really cool awesome. puzzle about, like, how do you start this train... And there's that yeah. one point where you you're walking through the train and you're you have to get those instructions back and you know you want to do like the the pencil rubbing on it yeah. and you go yep. back to the RV to get the pencil and the, a piece of paper and she's there and you say I'm just getting something you know we're we're not done with you yet and you get the pencil and you turn around and she is in your grill with no handcuffs on. And she punches Ooh. you in the face and throws you out of the RV and steals the RV. Oh, Ooh. wow. That and at that scene. point, you're just like, even Kenny comes out and he's like, well, I guess we have to get the train working now, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> and you are stranded in the middle of nowhere. Oh, wow. That really ups the tension of that part. You really, how, how did yeah. it happen with you guys? Did you just... It was. It just went in, just, grabbed the pencil and paper, and went back to the train. And you just abandoned the yeah. RV because your road, yeah. the road was blocked? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Because it's this frightening scene where you reach down and you get the pencil, and in the two seconds, that because she was sitting in at the table, in, in like at that little bench, she's mm -hmm. right behind you with nothing on. And she's like, oh. I'm taking this, and it's not your fault. And she knocks you out and throws you out, and and steals wow. the whole thing. Oh, that's such a good crazy. scene. So oh, the that's other awesome. the other revelation that happens during this point too is you talk to Ben, and Ben tells you he's the one. He's the one that this was is... was giving the bandits the supplies. Yeah. Wait, he, it happened that early for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right on the train. You're. Oh. Uh, no, as soon as you get the train. Started. When you're walking okay. back and forth between like the cabin where the hobo's been living, Ben mm -hmm. or not Ben or whatever. Like the yeah. engine. Yeah. Yeah. And then walking back and forth and then he's like, Lee, I, I gotta tell you something. It you're was like, me. What? It was me. And what? And oh, yeah, and yeah, I yeah, yeah. okay. I as Lee didn't pull any punches anymore. I was like, You suck. You're lucky I don't throw you off this train. I'm gonna I kill you at some point. Yeah, yeah. Because you got Carly killed for no reason. Now we have no RV. We have no Lily, and everything mm -hmm. is messed up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that was, that was really messed up. But there's a really great scene after that where you and the you talk to that hobo guy, and he's like, "Man, if you're going to be taking around this little girl, you got to train her how to shoot. What's yeah. your plan? What are you going to do?" And it all comes down to that moment where you as a player has a revelation too, where it's like, I don't know. We've just been yeah. hoping for the best and going to Savannah on a train. Um, and I really like that you have this scene with Clem where you train her on how to shoot a gun, which is a, a pretty mm -hmm. good scene. Yeah. And you work out a plan, which is like, yeah, uh, my plan for Savannah was let's go find your parents. Yep. Mine was find a boat. Really? Yeah. I told, like, she, I said to her, yeah, we're going to focus on finding a boat because we need to have a path out. Right. And then she's like, but, but my parents were in Savannah, but my parents were in Savannah. I was like, of, of course, yeah, we're, we'll look for your parents too. Mm. But we need to put the forefront on looking for a way out of Savannah so that when we find your parents, we can get them out. Interesting. I didn't think it would yeah. turn. I didn't think it would go that way. That's why I said, so 50% of people. Uh, said we're going to look for parents. 38% said find a boat and, you know, minuscule percents about the others. Um, and then the yeah. other scene, which was great, where he cuts her hair. And yeah. Yeah. the miserable look on her face when you cut her hair and she's just depressed. Yeah. And you cut off all her hair and it was it was pretty adorable. Yeah. Yeah, the, the little tail. Yeah the, mm -hmm. yeah, the tiny little single tail. Um, and then at that point... Uh, 
you run into those that dangling tanker where you can't mm -hmm. you can't drive anymore and you run into omid and krista uh the the two new characters here uh boyfriend and girlfriend that we're totally skipping over the duck situation did that already ha no that happens here doesn't it uh, I thought that I thought that happened on. Uh, oh, great! Now the video is wonky. So I know. Of course it is. I thought that happened before you got the train started. Wait, no, you're right. That happens here after you're stopped. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that are watching on the uh, live stream, uh, we're going to take a quick break right now, and I'm going to hang up on these two gentlemen and then invite them back to a phone call. Uh, since we have a four-hour limit on video chat? Yeah, apparently Skype has a four-hour limit, so we'll be right back. I'll call you guys in a second. All right. All right. And we're recording. All right. And we're back. We should be good. Hopefully. There we go. We've been doing this for four hours. <laughs> yes, all we have. It's been a, been a long day. Um, oh, wait, Skype. All right, well, this is going to be messed up, but sorry for everyone. At least you'll be able to hear. Um, uh, the Nymph says in chat, the thing with Duck does happen for train works. So I, I have my order out of here. So, yeah, let's talk about that. So um, it must be as your – for me, it was after the train starts working and you – Katja tells you to go have Kenny stop the train because yeah. you need to deal with it at this point yeah um for some people it sounds like it happened before but that's that's what happens for me it's my understanding that it's a time thing the game is timing you and you only have a set amount of time uh mm. so it happens before or after depending on how much you're wandering around and talking to people um, okay man this is the hardest part oh easily. yeah and this is yeah. just not only convincing Kenny that your son is dying and having to take him and his wife out in into the woods and seeing his wife kill herself because yeah. she can't take it anymore yeah. as if that wasn't bad enough uh, the only real choice is do you kill Duck or do you have Kenny kill Duck and I, I shot Duck I uh, yeah I shot. I think I shot Duck. Um, but yeah, but that leading up to that, I loved if you could ride the fence. Duck would slaughter everybody. The yeah, duck there's a dead. great <laughs> seriously. There's a yeah. great, really rare thing is if you if you ride the fence and you don't answer to a couple questions, uh -huh. um, and if you don't convince Kenny to stop fast enough, or you don't convince him at all, Duck kills everybody in that train car. Oh. Uh, you come back and it's a slaughter. Or the other thing you can do is you cannot kill Duck in the forest. And you can just leave him to be infected. Wow. Yeah, there's a couple. But I um, I, I decided to kill Duck because I didn't... I, I thought it would be too mean on Kenny. And they yeah. did a great thing. And it, it I teared up. I will not... I will admit that they did a great thing where you had to pull the trigger at the yeah. end. Yeah, was, they put the reticle might, over him. And spoilers for Metal Gear Solid 3, for those yeah. of you who haven't played it, it reminded me very much of the end of Metal Gear Solid 3, and it mm -hmm. had way more of an impact. And I You have to pull the trigger. And yeah. to see this little boy who's horribly pale and already looking gone and just have these wheezing breaths, and yeah. I'm just like, God, this is the worst this is the worst thing in video games ever. Yeah. Yeah. Until uh, episode five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until that point, I was just like, man, this is really good. And then it just went to another level. Like, yeah. that's just... Yeah. It, it, it's, 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 this vid, it's, it's this medium's at its best. Yeah. Like, yeah. just such an emotional response to everything. And 81% of people had Lee shoot Duck and 19% had him not. Had Kenny shoot him, which oh, is wow. just brutal. Oh yeah. man, how can you ask the, the dude to shoot his own kid? That's that. I don't know. There was no choice in my mind. That was too rough. Yeah. Um, so where were we? Oh, we were at the um, the tanker. The, uh, the tanker. So kind of a boring scene. Clementine doesn't shoot a bunch of dudes. We're running really long, so I'm gonna 
blow right through some of that stuff. Oh, Mead and Chris just seem really nice. Yay, hooray. Um, yeah. You use a freaking blowtorch blow torch. to get rid of this tanker. It's, it's not a great scene. <laughs> Um, yeah, not a great idea either. I thought the thing was going to explode. Yeah, not just a really eventually. Weird scene. <laughs> yeah. yeah, eventually that's true. Um, but what you find is um, that uh, Omid gets hurt somehow. I don't remember how. It doesn't really matter. He missed the jump. Well, you had the we had to goad him into jumping off, and he hits the top of the train. Oh and yeah, falls he rolls. Off. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So one of the choices is. Um, while the train is moving and you have managed to gather all of the walkers in Georgia mm -hmm. um, behind <laughs> you, um, do you save Omid or Krista first? And I saved Omid. I did yeah. too, because he was gimping. That's yep. really weird, because we're in the minority. Really? Surprisingly. Because uh, I figured Krista was in good enough shape, she'd make, make the jump anyway. 60% saved Krista. Really? And in in oh. watching that scene... Krista gets really pissed because she says the same thing. She's like, I'm fine. I can run. Yeah. That dude's got a broken leg. So I saved him first. And I like that scene of Krista just being like, no. And then she just, you know, <laughs> casually jogging. Yeah, it's like, hey, guys, I got it. We're good. Um, hey, what's up? I can do this all day. Yeah, I'm, I'm all yeah. right. Um, and then there's uh, the only other choice we forgot about was when you're trying to convince Kenny to, to stop the train. Do you fight him or do you talk him down? And I fought him. I had enough goodwill with him at that point to talk him down. Yeah. Oh, I think I, I had to fight I, him. I, I let him beat me up. Get out of his really? aggression. It, I didn't yeah. even know he could do that. Interesting. Yep. Oh. Wow, three different I never points. hit him. I let him hit me. Yeah, I wow. I, I, I choked. I almost I kinda... choked him out. Because <laughs> he, needed, he needed to take care of it. And I, I beat him up to remind him, this is your son. You need to take care of your family like you've been saying. No, I managed to uh, go through the decision tree and uh, the, I picked the right phrases, right, you know, timing. It, w it went really w hmm. way better than I thought it was going to. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah. So, oh, uh, man, I thought that whole thing was just a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> I just got pummeled for no reason. Nothing's my fault, but I still got my crap kicked in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so here at the end of the episode, um, all of you are in the train and, uh, Clementine is finally catching a couple winks here and finally asleep and you find out that the walkie talkie has been working and she's been talking to somebody and yeah. boom, credits. Uh, yeah. so that's episode three. Taking a break. All right. Can we take a break? I get really out of pee. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm going to take the opportunity to do that then too. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to as well. Sorry, live stream. Oh, all right. Oh man! All right. I'm sure this. You see these? Empty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and working on number three and two cups of coffee. <laughs> so no, I don't have prostate cancer. I just drink a lot of water. Fair enough. <clears throat> All right. 
Alrighty, I'm back. Sweet. I need to pee really badly. Yeah, I think it all hit us at the same time. All right. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't hold it anymore. No, I was. I was surprisingly a critical mass here. Okay, so. Ready to start again? Resting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's let's keep going since it's it's getting pretty late here. Yeah. Uh, all right. Starting again in three, two, one. Let's talk next about episode four, Around Every Corner. Take another quick break. All right, so the very beginning is you arrive in Savannah, um, and I think at the very beginning, somebody you're wandering around the town and somebody starts ringing those bells, right? Yeah. 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 So this is a super long episode. This is crazy. Um, so we're going to try and fly through it as, as fast as we can while hitting the, the high points. Um, you find yourself in that giant boarded up mansion um, mm -hmm. after you dig up that dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, was it that, yeah. yeah. What a great scene. Yeah. Just really yeah, great. Yeah. Just <laughs> really rough. Um, you get in the house and you start looking around. You start investigating the house and you send Kenny up to the attic and he doesn't come down. And yeah. he finds just the roughest scene in this game. Uh, he, you find the the owners of the house had set had sent their kid in the attic and locked him in there. Uh, with I can't I don't even remember if there's any food in there, but he had eventually starved. There was a plate. Okay. Yeah. So he, he had eventually, eventually starved to death. Starved to death. And there's a great scene where he's almost see through. He's he's yeah. so thin and. He, he's a walker, of course, because he died, and can barely even move. And you get the choice of, does Kenny kill him or do you kill him, too? Um, and I chose to kill the, have Lee kill the kid. Yes, I did the same I thing. Had Kenny, I had Kenny do it. Yeah, I, I wish they would have, so in that Faces of Death article, there's a really interesting, they put the option of having Kenny do it in there, so... Kenny could work through his stuff by finally pulling mm. the trigger himself and working yes. through his demons that way. Is yes. that sort of how the, you had approached it? That's ex that's exactly why I chose it. I looked at Kenny. I my thought process was if I do this for him again, mm -hmm. it's going to cement in his brain that he can't do it. Right. And a, a guy like Kenny can't have that going on in his head yeah. while we're trying to get stuff done he needs to as horrible as it sounds he needs to get over this and this is the yeah. quickest way he's going to be able to do it it does sort of poison him it's like the exposure rest of the therapy game. yeah if you do it for him like i did it does sort of poison him for the rest of the game he's kind of never the same um yeah. but then there's that great game there's that great scene where you carry that kid down and you bury that kid next to that dog and yeah a great scene That's... of just having to shovel that dirt in there and one of the few jump scares in this game where that mm -hmm. last dirt patch you shovel when you lean back up there's that dude right behind you uh, yeah that gate and i was just like oh jesus yeah i jumped a little yeah i did i peed myself a little um, <laughs> that's a really that's a really great scene and and from there, Lee also becomes a little unhinged because he yeah. knows there's this guy on this other side of the walkie-talkie who's sort of threatening him and threatening Clementine um, mm -hmm. and really has no idea what to do about it. Yeah. Um, and I don't remember what leads up to you going into the sewers. So I, I think I pretty much remember this point. No, you point. guys... You guys run out to go, you and uh, Kenny go to the boat, and then yes. you run into the, the, the parkour chick. Yeah, who I really yeah. like. Yeah, She was an awesome um, character. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. Um, yeah. And then you guys get hoarded by zombies, and Kenny and the parkour chick get up the ladder. You don't, and oh, that's yeah. where you end up in the sewer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and this is where you find out about that sectioned off um, area. I cannot remember the name of it. Oh, um, Crawford. Crawford. Yeah, you find yes. out about Crawford where they've, they don't like, they don't keep kids, they don't keep sick or elderly or anything. If you have anything, survival is paradise. Yeah, survival is paradise. They throw you out. Um, and that's a great story, and the it's a great setup for this entire episode. Um, yeah. 
But yeah, you go through this really cool scene down in the sewers where you're distracting all the, the walkers and sneaking around and and all that. And once you come out, you run into Vernon and his group, uh, yeah. which is a bunch of cancer survivors uh, that got kicked out of Crawford because they were, to Crawford, they were broken, even though they were survivors and, and didn't really need any help. I love that yeah. they outlasted that group. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think it was a really interesting choice about whether or not you threaten Vernon when he like has that gun in your face. Yeah. Um, 33% of people threatened Vernon. And I'm oh, just... I did. Oh, you did? I pulled, I pulled alpha male and took control of the situation. Oh, no, I didn't. I, I sweet-talked him, and he was he was my friend after that. Well, until the end of yeah. the episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the two pulls a D move, like yeah, hard. for real. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so that was... There's a really weird scene after this where you finally make your way with Vernon back to the house. Like, he leads you through the sewer system. Uh, you go yeah. back to the house, um, and you come up with a plan that <clears throat> you need... You have this boat uh, that you found in the, the shed in their backyard. And that was a huge revelation too. Like your boom, yeah. shed boat. How about that? Well, it was this great thing where it's like, God, maybe, maybe it's going to turn a, out. Okay. There's a ray of hope. Yeah. Maybe everything yeah. will be okay. It's not going to be, of course, but, of um, course. you find out you need a battery, you need gas, gas, and you need something else. Oh, you need like medicine. Some, uh, you needed medicine for, uh, Omid's leg has gotten yeah, yeah, infected. Yeah. yeah. And and Vernon is a doctor and he said, it's getting bad and he's not going to make it unless we get him medicine, like, right now. Um, So you figure, well, Crawford has everything. Let's sneak in there in one of the weirdest scenes in this game. Um, yeah. And your choice is, do you bring Clementine or not? And I absolutely brought Clem with me. Really? I left yep. her there? No. No, no well, way. Because no. I thought Omid would turn and she would have no way to defend herself. I left yeah. her with a gun. Ah, that's interesting. Uh. I didn't know that that was... That, that would have been the choice that you would have left her with a gun. Yeah, because after those shenanigans, after you find out the stuff with the parkour lady... Yeah. I don't know if we're moving too fast. No. But, um, but yeah, like, things ensue and whatnot. Uh, you have those uh the thing like what a great scene in that garage like just the yeah. pure oh, panic yeah. on that lift just getting the battery well i really love yep. that first scene when you get into crawford of like that dude standing guard and you're like wow there's nobody here this is really weird and then he turns around and he's a zombie and i'm like ah, awesome uh, uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is great it's all zombies yep. um but this is such a crazy scene where you're in this school and the zombies are are br trying to break down the door and you're trying to break down the door in this this uh this like kindergarten room and there's that great scene where you and um i don't remember what her name is uh a amy I... anna something like that i don't remember anna karina somebody in somebody in chat <laughs> i don't remember um but you trying to get that battery and her losing her poops on that one walker who's the doctor and she's yeah. like no it's just normal walker and you're like that's not no that's no not, that that's is not <laughs> that's not what just happened there's a, here there's a story yeah there's there's something happened here um and just you having to go from place to place and figure out all this stuff and especially watching those tapes of that doctor where not yeah. only did he sleep with that with that woman for her uh, insulin, I think it was. Yeah, her but insulin he, for her sister. Yeah, but he is just a monster and just really taking advantage of that situation. Um, yeah. And w you coming back and having one of those great scenes where... Molly. Molly, thank you. Mm, there it is. Where not only do you confront Molly and everything turns out okay, but there's that one great scene where Ben comes up with that axe. And he's like, hey, I found this axe somewhere. Could you guys use uh, this for the zombies? And you're just like... Oh, at this point, I I, I MF'd the screen. Uh, yeah, I did too. I, I was like... I hate Ben. Lee is I don't like, know if I can stress this enough. I hate Ben. I love he that sucks. Lee is like, where'd you get that thing? He's like, I don't know. It was like wedging a door or something. And everybody's like, oh my god, Ben. How, how <laughs> stupid are you? So, yeah, of course you have to... Everybody has to escape uh, from this yeah. from this area. And you have all the parts. Um, and you Not have everybody. You, yeah, you... Wait, what was it? 
Well, not everybody escapes. Uh, well, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. so that's yeah. So this is the <laughs> clock tower part, right? Yeah. 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 So uh, this is one where I made a choice that I didn't think I would make, uh, where everybody's running up at the top, and then a really cool scene where there's a there's a walker swinging on the bell, and he grabs Ben, yeah. and Ben yeah. falls. Yeah. Uh, I saved Ben. What? But, yep. Nope. I dropped. You I see, I, there was a go. part where I had Ben hanging in my hand, and I dropped him. Nope. I saved him completely Slow because slow mo dubs flying off. Nice. Yeah. How I decided was, if anybody's going to kill Ben, I will, and it's going to be real <laughs> slow. It's not going to be Walker's. I'm going to make him pay for everything he's done and everything he's screwed up this entire way. And the yeah. new here says in chat, he says, I saved Ben. He was an idiot, but I wanted an extra hand. That's a good point. And also, Baduch. No, um, he was dead weight. He, he was, was absolute 100% yep. useless dead weight Man, at that point. You like, guys... I couldn't have hit the button fast enough when he's like, no, let me go. I was like, okay. You, yep, see I did the same thing. Then you missed one of the best scenes in this game because you didn't save Ben. We'll talk about it uh, in episode five. Um, uh, so um, I, I love that line where Vernon too is like, "Hey, did you guys take a train here?" And they're like, "Yeah, why?" And he's like, "Oh, no reason. Everything's fine. Why?" Yeah. Um, and then uh. You go back to and Omid's fine and everything. I fine. totally forgot. Remember in your sewers, you find uh, the hobo's corpse. Yeah, that uh, sucked. Yeah. That was yeah, awful. I, felt I liked sad. that dude. He, he was he, awesome. He barely made it like an episode. Um, so you make it back to the house, and uh, uh, Vernon helps out um, Omid, and Omid is okay. He's just was sleeping. Um, everything seems okay. You know, Kenny goes out and puts all the stuff in the boat, and. Uh, you sort of have to talk to Clem about, hey, you know, your your parents are probably dead, right? And yeah. we can't go see them because we need to leave and get on the boat. Um, so she goes, uh, oh, Super Hungry says Chuck was the hobo's name. Thank you. Yeah, Chuck, Chuck was awesome. Yeah. Um, so you sort of fall asleep, uh, you know, when after you have disappointed uh, Clem. And you wake up to find that Clem is missing, mm -hmm. and so's the boat. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, the, I had a different thing when I made it back to the mansion mm -hmm. um, after all this mayhem and stuff ensues. And I'm trying to find Clementine, and then I find her in the room, in another room. It's like, look, because there's dead walkers everywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, she had killed about six or seven walkers at wow. this point. Hmm. And she's like, I did good, didn't I? I was like, yes, you did. Wow. I uh, also forgot to mention the part about Vernon wanting to take Clem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because Vernon's like, hey, look, you're not a good dude. You're yeah. Look at all these people you're killing. You put her in danger in Crawford. What is wrong with you? And um, he says, I, I'm going to take Clem. You don't deserve her. And I lose my poops as Lee. Yep. Like, I threaten yeah. him. And I'm like, no way. There's no way yeah. you're taking my girl. Like you can't, yeah. you can't do it. Yeah, I did um, the. I took the. You you need to leave option. I just like shut him down. Yeah, yeah. And the 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 nymph brings up reminds me that the house got ambushed with walkers. Uh, when you get back, yeah. When everybody yeah. gets back, like Omid's still in that room, but they get ambushed by walkers. So, See, all uh, the walkers were already dead for me because Clement took taking care of business. That's awesome. Nice, hey, Clem. <laughs> um, so the very end of this is you go outside trying to find Clem because she's not in the house, and you th you Vernon has taken her clearly because he's taken the boat, um, and you find her hat, and you get bitten. <laughs> yep. Yep. In one of the greatest scenes where he looks down at his hand and he's like, "Oh no." Oh no! Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, please don't let this be the end. And you get the one of the biggest choices in the game: do you reveal the bite or not? And I reveal the bite. Same I did too. Yep. And eighty percent revealed the bite, and uh, twenty percent didn't. Uh, I and heard. I've, oh man, I heard that pays off the worst way possible. Yeah. It, what, it, revealing it or not revealing no, it? No, not revealing it because remember when you go off and you end up back in that room where you found all the survivors before with the cancer patients? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're there alone. Yeah. And you have to go through that thing alone. Yep. Well, By which yourself. we're going to get to in a second. Yep. Well, yeah. and even if you reveal the bite, 
there's a, a you can be by yourself at the end of episode four too but yeah. i had omid krista ben kenny and lee at the end of mine i see i didn't have ben right yeah i didn't have ben either but you had everybody else yes uh okay. yeah yeah uh so that's the end of uh episode four uh take another break uh, episode five, no time left. You know, talk about tweets, man. Um, <laughs> so the very first decision is your you you're left at the end of <clears throat> episode four at that that morgue in the hospital, and that dude has just threatened you over the walkie-talkie and says, "I have Clem. What are you gonna do about it?" Um, yeah, and. <laughs> I don't even remember what happens. Uh, I don't think I threaten him. I'm just sort of like, hey man, let's, you, we don't, come on, we don't have to, we don't have to do this. Um, but I know that you get that, that like rib separator and you start opening the um, elevator and then you pass out because of the bite. And then yeah. you wake up and they're all arguing about whether or not they should cut your hand off. Um, did you guys cut his hand off or not? I did. You oh, Lee's? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I totally cut, cut his hand off. off. I did not. Yeah. Uh, I thought it. I have I s having no prior knowledge the of the universe. <laughs> See, having no prior knowledge of the universe, I'm like, this could work. <laughs> yeah. No, I figured. I figured there's no way it would slow it down. It's already in his blood. I was assuming. And then yeah. I figured I'll probably need both hands at some point. To be honest with you, I was really hoping the evil dead it up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Stick something uh, there on. was a little bit of that in my decision too. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I, I figured I don't care about the time. I just need both of my hands to go save Clem. So I didn't <laughs> do anything. But yes, if you go there by yourself, you have to cut your own hand off. Yeah. Which wow. I watched that scene. That scene is rough. <laughs> I bet it scene was <laughs> rough with people in the room doing it. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny was really itching to chop my hand off, but I I didn't let him. <laughs> um, so my brain is sort of fuzzy after this stuff. I know you go up on the roof, yeah. And there's that great scene where you're climbing up that ladder. And you oh, see all that the awful scene! You totally see that come, and you're like, I died. Just don't want to do it. Yeah, I, like yeah. you slowly climbing up that ladder, and of course it all goes wrong. Yeah. Um, you start ringing that bell. You go back down the um. The fire escape. Um, I don't remember what happens when you get on the street, though. Uh, you you have that distraction on the other side with all that, and you get yeah. down to the street, um, and you guys just kind of book it back to the mansion. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, you go back to the mansion, and you hold back up, and you're trying to figure out what to do next. I wish I had watched you, episode five again. Right. You get trapped up in the attic. Oh, yeah, and you have to go to the other building. Right, yes. Oh, my God, yep. this is the scene you guys missed. Oh, <laughs> since you didn't save Ben. All right. So, you know how everybody's jumping across and, like, the the that little, like, iron patio is sort of falling off? Yeah. Uh, the last one to cross is Ben, and he falls. <sighs> so, oh. you go down, and you're like, okay, Ben, everything's fine. Let's Let's get up, buddy. And you clear off the trash that's on him, and he has a pipe sticking through his chest. Oh, oh and dude, you try brutal. and pull him, and he screams blind rage. So you have to leave him, but Kenny stays behind. What? Kenny stays Whoa. behind and says, "Like, no, I gotta try, man. I, I can't let another person die. I have to try." Oh, you give so him we the have gun a that has one bullet left, and. He's trying to pull Ben off, and Ben is screaming his head off. Kenny shoots Ben with the last bullet, and Kenny gets eaten. Uh, oh, That's no. not how it happened for me at all. And in no. that scene, I was just like, oh, my God, Kenny, you're a pretty okay guy. No, so, nope. all right, yeah, so as we're, as we're doing the rooftop escape, like, you see the, 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 the railing get unhinged a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're yeah. going over, and then... Uh, we're walking across the, we see this room and we're going to try and get back down to street level. Mm -hmm. And everyone just looks at us like, oh, we ain't going in there. 
and you you have the walkie talkie in your hand, and Kenny walks up, and it falls in. Uh, yeah, and you're like, he I, like slaps you on the shoulder. Yeah, uh, and it just kind of falls, like comedically falls in the hole, like it just fell in the toilet. Oh my god, that's yeah. horrible. So yeah, you, so everybody's sitting around looking at it, and you're like, well, we need to get back. You have a choice to so leave it or go after it, and you like go after it. It's like, well, who's going down in there? And as you're trying to make a decision, uh, Katya just jumps right Krista. in. Krista. Oh, yeah. And Krista just jumps right in, throws it up, and then you're like, oh, no, I hear walkers. Oh, no. So you're trying to scramble to grab something to try and pull her up, and nothing really reaches. And yeah. and Kenny jumps in the hole and hoists her up, and then he try he battles it out and for as long as he can. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's, exactly wow, that's way different. Too. That's surprising. Yeah. Boy, both scenes are great then, but just oh, yeah. on my well, I think oh, Kenny, because Kenny looks at you, he's like, I've done nothing up until this point. You've been the man. This is my turn. Yeah, he says pretty much the exact same thing, and he said, and he shows it when he shoots Ben with the last bullet so he doesn't have to suffer. Well, suffer anymore. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's rough. Yeah, um, it really is. So the rest of the scene, there's that scene where you go into the other house and there's that couple that died that like shot each other or something oh, where they're holding hands. Rough. That was rough. Yeah. Um, what else happens? Because at that point, people start to get picked off. Well, at that point, it was me, um, Krista Omid, and Omid, and Krista and Omid. And then yep. we have to shimmy across the uh, the sign. sign. Yeah, and yeah. that's where we get separated. And I don't see Christy or Omid alone, but they're healthy and ready to go. Did you go yeah. first, or did you have them go first? I went first. Me too. I did too. Yeah, I figured if anything goes bad, they're at least fine, and they don't get. Injured. I figured if a one-armed guy could make it, they could. Yeah, yeah. that's what I did too. <laughs> yeah, not thinking the thing was gonna fall down. Yeah, I yeah. I crossed and I they. They said, well, what do we do now? And I said, well, you need to get to the train. Like, if anything happens, yeah. you need to take care of Clem. You need to take care of this. Yeah. Um, and I think at that point, you climb down and you start battling through the walkers, right? Uh, yeah. Like, one-man yeah. army start shooting them and clubbing them. Because you have, yeah, like, the yep. piece of glass and the hat, like, that butcher's knife. Yeah, I had, what did I, I had the cleaver. I found the yeah, cleaver. The cleaver. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. It's a cleaver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, close. Um, mm -hmm. So you, you make it over to that hotel and you make it all the way up and then you you start talking to the stranger, which is one of the most divisive parts of this game, finding that he's been stalking you via the walkie-talkie pretty much the entire time, and you yeah. have the option of giving up your weapons or keeping something. And I gave everything to him. Ah, uh, I kept, uh, <laughs> what did I, I kept keep? the knife. I don't think I kept the knife. I kept something. I think yeah. it was the knife because I had a gun. Right. I, I kept, um, I, I gave him everything and then had a, had a rather civil chat with this crazy gentleman, which was great because there's no music in that scene and it is yeah. creepy. Yeah. Yeah that, yeah, that was that was really intense. You're sitting there, and then it gets to the point where, wait, no, I think I left the cleaver. No, yeah, because I didn't, because I had the cleaver on me. Yeah, same here. Yeah. So as like as you creep it, and it has that weird contraption with the door and the rope. Yeah, mm -hmm. holding it shut, and then you just see Clem sneaking out around him, mm -hmm. and then you have Clem look at the glass, the the wine bottle. Yeah, she grabs mm -hmm. the wine bottle, bats him over the head, and then you come out with the cleaver and whap. Oh, that's different than See, how. Mine that's went. not quite how it played out for me. Yeah. Um, she hit him, and I didn't get that that shot off quick enough. Yeah, me neither. Uh, I wasn't able to hit him, and it, we were wrestling around, wrestling around, and Clem killed him. Yeah, Clem shot him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I killed him. Nice. Um, I really, I actually really like that dis discussion you have with a stranger because he turns everything around on you. Like you brought that girl to Crawford, and and Lee's like that. Well, it didn't happen like that. And he's like, well, you haven't, you didn't feed her. And he's like, well, no, that's not. He's like, well, you sh taught her how to shoot a gun. And Lee's like, I, that, but that's not. You don't understand how it happens. And it's like Lee yeah. keeps getting backed into a corner as he's dying. 
Yeah. yeah, see, I did that. See, I was backed in the corner, but I, I mean, I fed her every time I got. Uh, yeah. I taught her how to shoot. Yeah. I left her. I got chastised for leaving her alone. Oh, but, wow. interesting. Uh, but yeah, but then I found the the amazing thing was it was his station wagon. Yeah, exactly. I he's was like, like, yeah. He's like, I my wife died because of that. Bite me in a butt. Yeah, like his wife and his his wife died because of that, and his daughter got killed or ran away or something like that. Well, no, his, he yeah. was trying to. We was te well, his daughter was dead. And it was just her and her son. Oh, right, right. There and his son, and he was trying to take the son out hunting to try and bomb with the son. Yeah, yeah. And then it was like that was the one thing that was going to get me back in my good graces, and you got my family killed. And then his wife's head is in the bag. Yeah, that was the worst Still part. I was like, around, and I was just like, oh boy, oh god, oh. um. But then, then comes the great scene where um, the walker doesn't attack Lee, so he he kills the walker and then smears all that gore on uh, Clem. Clem attack, and she's yeah, like, it's uh, "Awful." Eh, oh, oh, but yeah. the the face she was making was so like, it's like so I'm just, perfect I'm of just like, him. Uh, oh god, yeah, gross. Um, then goes the scene where you and you and Clem go down the street, and Lee is in real bad shape. At yeah. this point, and pretty much dying, and of course, Clem sees her parents, and yeah. they're just hanging out as zombies together. And Lee passes out. Um, and Clem drags him into what looks like some sort of like mini police station. Yeah, it looks like a security yeah. shack. Yeah, like a security shack. And um, this is the roughest part in the game, and this is what had me crying like a baby. Uh, basically. You have to walk Clementine through, like, getting the keys and escaping and everything, and then you get the choice at the end of, do you have her kill Lee, or do you have her leave him? And I had her leave him. I, I had Clem shoot me. I had Kid Clem had to grow me. up. Man. Kid had to grow up. That was, it was probably the roughest scene then, because you didn't get to see Lee stop breathing and slump over dead and that was the last scene of the game Oof. and it was just like a knife to the heart because he's like he barely gets out a last couple uh last couple words to clem and then just like stops breathing and just slumps over and his head hits the radiator and then black and it's just like oh oh i had because i think you were guiding clem out and then she, she then like she shot me Mm -hmm. and yeah. Clem like as she's making her last like as she's getting out she just kind of looks back oh. and then it's like fade to black oh that's rough yeah um and then after that it's a uh, it's basically credits and then there's that amazing epilogue of Clem sitting there in that that uh like that field and then she yeah. sees two people off in the distance she freaks out about whether or not she could should call them, and then they turn to her, and it it's a shot of her face, and then it's, boom, black. Yeah, Season I don't two. think she called out. No, oh, she, I don't. I think that one is scripted. I don't think that one changes. Yeah, but that's The Walking Dead. Yeah, I've, it was amazing. I it love absolutely it. amazing. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I haven't felt that emotionally invested in in let in anything as much as I was in that game. Yeah. Yeah. We uh we have a couple of questions here from the community if you guys want to hit those real quick. Sure. Yeah, sure. Uh Late Elf asks, How far do you think Lily got with the R V? Not very far. I ran out of gas and I yeah. think she got eaten. Yeah. She was too she was too far gone at that point. Uh was anyone tempted to just kill Ben off early? I think yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> you two of you guys got made made good with the promise. I, this, I the hated second ben. The second he told me, I wanted to kick him off the train. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to be like, goodbye. I wanted that to be an option. Yeah, exactly. Uh, how did you want to see Lee end? I wanted him to make it. I wanted it, them to be like too. a little family, but you know it couldn't happen. I don't yeah. think I don't think he could have. No. I, I mean... That story can't have a happy ending. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. It's a zombie story. So. I, mean, I know what I wanted, but they weren't going to give it to me. <laughs> uh, and his last question was, Clementine's ending, who's in the distance? Um, I, I'm hoping it's Omid and... Uh, Krista? And Krista. I think it's strangers. I think it's people you don't know. Yeah, I, I think, think it so is. Too. Yeah. I don't think it's walkers. 
No, they were they were moving normally, sort of with purpose. Yeah. So. And if they are walkers, there's regular people not too far behind them. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, the nymph asks, "How do you guys feel about the way The Walking Dead handled your choices in the game?" I believe the best way to describe The Walking Dead is the same way that Patrick from Giant Bomb described Kentucky Route Zero. Uh, you have incredible agency over what happens while having no agency over what happens. Uh, he says, I believe the game does an incredible job of giving every player their own story while telling the exact same story to every player. Yeah, I think that's how it has to be. It was um, all, ro and... all roads lead to the same the same ending, but your, your journey getting there, it was... As much as I felt like I had a complete different experience than, than the Hannah and you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it just... Which is great, but the game ends the same way. So, like, it all funnels down to the same thing. But, you know, it's even the little things of, you know, how how did you teach Clementine? You know, what people yeah. made it to the end? Did Omid and Krista survive? You know, any of this stuff. Yeah. Like, we all got the same ending. But, yeah. you know, in the true fashion, the journey is what's important, not the destination. Right. Exactly, and, I, can... and I, I, I think this actually gave me perspective on the ending of another very divisive game, Mass Effect 3. Yeah, absolutely. And it, and it gives me a different perspective of, oh, you know what, you know, Mass Effect 3 was a fantastic game, maybe the ending isn't as big of a deal as everyone made it out to be. And, oh, and yeah. if, you're, if you're creating a game at this point that has player choice and player agency, yeah. this is the perfect way to do it, because... You really don't have a lot of choice on how the story plays out in the end. It's just all mm -hmm. the specifics that yes. make it your story. The devil's in the details. Exactly. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's a, that's the beautiful thing about these games. I remember when before Mass Effect Three came out. I I mean I I I can't say I hated Mass Effect Three. I can't say I loved it. Right. But what I did love about it is. They had to kill Shepard at, at at that point. Yeah. Yes. That was the only logical ending to that. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Um. So Big Mackey asks our last question here. He said, uh, uh, "Which is the better character, Lee or Clementine?" He says he uh, he says I feel it's Lee because even if you do decide who he becomes, there's still some stellar writing and voice acting regarding whatever choices you make. He's a better protagonist than even Rick in the Walking Dead comic. Uh, everyone, he says on uh, No Quarters, everyone else insisted uh, that it was Clementine since she was a believable child that they genuinely cared about with realistic reactions and behaviors. What do you guys think? No, I think the the vehicle for the for the game is Clementine. Yeah. That I mean, with that with that being said, as I hate saying that, <laughs> is. Your the game hinged on Lee whether he yeah. was believable or not. Yep. Yes. So he's got to be the best character. Yeah. And yeah. you have choices really in that was. game where you could have Clementine hate you by the yeah. end of that yeah. game. Yeah. Um, like I I feel both of them are important characters. I think the main character of the story is Lee, not only because he's the player character, but because you're right, the story does hinge primarily on him, but I feel like if if anybody is looking how to make a game with a child character in it, you just need to look at Clementine and see how to make a character that has desires and opinions and, and agency of her own as a character in that story instead of just being a damsel in distress. Yeah, you know? But that, I mean, uh, the way I looked at it, Clementine was the package from Castaway that he had to deliver. Like, yeah. it was, she yeah. was such, she was the purpose to the story, but yeah. she wasn't the character in the story. Right. Yes. What about That's you? That's exactly how I feel about it. Yeah. Um, I mean, she is the, she's the driving point of the game, but she, she's a good character, but she's more than a character. She is. She she really kind of revolves as character and plot device, right? Because um, without Clementine, a lot of the major decisions that happen don't happen or don't even have to happen, right? Um, but I think it comes down to Lee is the better character because of the agency the player has over it. You you don't have any agency over 
uh, Clementine's reactions yeah. or Clementine's. You, you can, you have it indirectly, but that that direct connection that the player gets with Lee, I think, is far more substantial than the connection that you have between Lee and Clementine. You only feel that connection because of how connected you are to Lee. Right. 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 Like Lee is the your, it's he's your user interface to that yeah, yes. world. Yeah. And yeah. without a strong connection to Lee, I don't think you can care about Clementine. Right. Right. Uh, well, that's all our questions, and that's The Walking Dead. Um, yep. One of the best games Ooh. of 2012 and one of the best stories, and also the biggest bummer. Yeah. So, and I, <laughs> I God, can't... No bummer, dude! Uh, uh, season 2 is supposed to happen sometime between uh, May and July. It's supposed to start kicking off, so... Gotta wait until then. I don't know. I'm gonna have trouble playing that episodic. <laughs> I'm I'm hopping in episodic from day one. I I want to get that experience and see if it's any different. Uh, yeah. But thank you very much, everyone, for listening. Uh, this spoiler cast and all the other ones are at TVGP.TV, and uh, we'll see you next time we decide to spoil a game. See ya later. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching sticking around with us for about five hours um yeah. and uh we're gonna go offline and uh we got a brand new episode coming out tomorrow for tvgp and later on this week uh the spoiler cast will go up somewhere t between wednesday and friday Sounds uh, good. but thanks for watching everyone bye